Hi creative friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley the Thrifty Chica. Today we're going to be talking about a brand new mystery box. This is the May the 4th Star Wars digital mystery box. I'm really excited about this. I'm a huge Star Wars fan and I know so many of you guys are too. So I'm going to walk you through all the different images and we're going to talk about the price, what you get, all of this. So let's go ahead and click on images inside design space. If you're trying to find um, the mi digital mystery box image sets after you purchase them, you'll go ahead and click on the highlighted categories where it says image sets. You can search for Star Wars. And then it'll bring up all the different Star Wars results. So there are five different sets for this mystery box, which is awesome. They're all brand new. So even if you've had other Star Wars mystery boxes, which they've had, um, this is a great way for you to get a whole bunch of images at the same time for a really reasonable price. So I'm going to walk you through all of the different ones. There is the Star Wars Modern Modernography, which is 18 different images. The Mandalorian, one of my new favorite shows, 10 different images. Geolinear, 12 different images. The Mandalorian Printables, this is actually my favorite, and I'm going to show you guys a project from it and the child season two so if you're a mandalorian fan this is definitely the box for you so it is 128 dollars msrp retail value and the mystery box is 29.99 for all the different images and this is awesome because you can create so many different projects with it let's walk you through and take a look at all the different images that are available so we're going to click on modernography and what I love about this set specifically that's within the mystery box is that it's really very graphic, very modern, very like iconic type of designs. And I think this is perfect for things like t-shirts, stickers, um, you know, if you wanted to create artwork for your room, all of those types of things, even cards, this would be perfect for. So just scrolling through, I can already see so many cool designs. In fact, um, we're friends with um, one of the 501st Legion um, people who dresses up as Boba Fett, and I can't wait to like make this for him because I know he would totally use it. Um, but there's so many cool things inside this mystery box that I just really love. I'm going to go ahead and click on a few of these so you guys can take a look and see how cool these designs are because I really think they're really well made. and. Yeah, I have to stop myself from clicking all of them. Okay, so let's bring them in here and you can immediately see just how um, graphic the designs are on this. So if we move these out of the way, these would make super cute stickers or even a Star Wars like birthday party. Is it just me? I would love to make a birthday party with a whole Star Wars theme after seeing these, but I, that just looks like a poster to me. And I'm already going to be making a mug with this Jedi Master one and also the other Yoda one that's inside the image series. So look forward to that because I'm really excited um, to create with it. But I just really love the designs and you can see all of the different layers for the designs here. And Leia, like what set would be complete without Leia? I just love how that turned out really really cool and i love that there's like a, such an assortment of different types of images in here so let's go ahead and i'm going to click out of these i'm going to go back to the image sets and let's take a look at some more of the other ones so we're going to exit out of modernography and go back to um, the rest of them and the next one is the child season two the child season two 16 different images and these are super cute this is very like super cutesy I would really love to make stickers out of this one. I think it would be adorable. All of the little um, baby Yodas <laughs> or the child. We know his name is uh, Grogu, obviously. But, um, you know, I just really love these ones. They're just super, super cute. And they have a little ball from the ship and everything. So this one is just really adorable. I can see like that being a super cute sign or um, you could create little tiny stickers and add them to cards or even make a full-size card. I would love to make a full-size card, maybe child size <laughs> for that. Wouldn't that be fun? So those are really, really cute. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Mandalorian images. So this is something I'm really I'm excited about this one too. 
the Mandalorian, these ones are just really iconic images and I think they would make amazing t-shirts and mugs. This is immediately the first thing I saw and thought of when I looked at these images. Like, does that not look like a mug or a t-shirt to you? Just super cute. And they even have Gideon in there, which is, you know, I would say that's pretty unique. I, I would have expected in the Mandalorian to have, you know, more of the, just the standard Mandalorian ones, but I really love that they included some um, different options in here, even the Mudhorn insignia. That's really cool. So I love that they're including a lot more variety, a lot more um, interesting, you know, designs inside this. The Stormtrooper, let's take a look at Gideon. I, and I love these. I think these are going to be like perfect as mugs. Like immediately I want to make a mug with this and one of the heads on there. So let's take a look at those images. So if you blow up the image a little bit, you'll notice that they're kind of a sketch type of design. So that's one thing I think is really neat about this is it really gives you that kind of handmade look. So that would be super cool as an accent for a project. And this would be amazing as like a t-shirt or even a poster or, you know, anything like that that you would um, use for decor. And I just really love how they did the outlines of the stormtroopers and Gideon. And it just gives you a really cool look, just that kind of um, hand-drawn type of look that they've gone for for this part of the series. So I think these are really neat. Let's go ahead and check out the other ones. We're going to go back and now we're going to check out Geolinear. I'm actually saving the best for last because after this one, I want to show you my favorite one, which is one that I made a project with already. So Geolinear is really cool, very modern. It, it definitely has that kind of um, like character focused design. And I want to show you guys my favorites out of it. This one immediately caught my eye. I thought that was so cool. And Boba Fett, like, who wouldn't want that one? And I love that they have the Stormtroopers, C-3PO. So you can really get some cool designs going with this. I'm just bringing a few of them in so you guys can take a look at them and see how they're set up here. So immediately my first favorite here was the Boba Fett one just because look at how cool this design is. And you guys know he, you know, didn't have a lot of screen time in the original one. Luckily he's getting more screen time in The Mandalorian, which is awesome. Um, but just seeing how detailed the design is and this is a really great one that would make a great poster or a t-shirt i can't wait to play around with that one this one i just thought this was so cool and isn't that kind of the perfect size for a card having something like this um, in that kind of a long design would be really cool for a poster or for a card and this one i want to make into a t-shirt i want to make into a poster i want to make it into home decor I just love, love this one, you know, really, really cool. So we're back in the um, Star Wars digital mystery box and we're in the last section. This one is the Mandalorian printables. There are um, seven different images. We're gonna take a look at these. And I thought literally the coolest here. There's the Tusken Raiders. And these are all print and cut, by the way, guys. I forgot to mention this, but they're all printable images. These are amazing if you want to create something like um, little home decor pieces, if you want to create cards, if you want to create stickers, this would be perfect for it. Um, so they have the Tuscan Raiders, the Asset, the Child, the Bounty Hunter, the Stormtrooper, Precious Cargo. I love that they have him um, on the speeder bike and also them together, and then Moff Gideon. So really, really cool. I think those turned out really well. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a project that I created using this. And all I used was an inkjet printer and um, a laser copy paper and a Dollar Tree frame. It's that easy. All I did was resize them. So these are sized exactly for the Dollar Tree picture frames. And they're five by seven picture frames, so I sized them pretty close, a little bit smaller. And I chose this one, which was the Precious Cargo printable and also the Bounty Hunter printable. Now we're going to go ahead and send it to um, the maker to create it. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. So the first step is to send your image to the printer. So you'll select send to printer. It will print out the image for you, and then you can cut it using your Cricut machine. Thank you. 
right, if you want to make sure that you have the best print, make sure that you have aligned and cleaned your print heads so that way it gives you the best results on this. I'm using an inexpensive printer. This is an HP DeskJet Plus 4152 that I got from Walmart. align this on my light grip mat. Whenever you're working with any type of paper, make sure you're using the blue mat. And I'm just gonna set this up. There are something called registration marks on this picture. So you can see that black box is the outline. The um, Maker or the Explorer Air 2 will be using these marks basically as guidelines so it knows where to cut in here. So there's a little bit of extra that was created and that way we can make sure that it cuts it correctly. So we're gonna go ahead and load this in. So if you've never worked with print and cut, something I wanted to show you is, do you see the light on the bottom there? That's how the system detects where to cut. It measures the difference between the black bar and the white background there, and then it knows exactly where to cut. So it's just going along and it's detecting where everything is so that way it can be accurate when it's cut. We're going to unload our project here and the easiest way to do this is to make sure that you flip it over and take your time whenever you're um, removing anything like paper because it's more likely to bend or tear and we want to have the best result on this. So just hold on to your design and just slowly roll your mat away from your project. Now we're going to be breaking out our Dollar Tree frame. I thought these would be perfect types of frames because they have that kind of rustic, metallic feel to them. This is such a fun, easy project and I feel like these would make super cute cards too. So I can see so many uses for this project idea here. I'm going to place one of them in here. Like that. It doesn't get easier than this as a project either. If you're interested in picking up the Star Wars Digital Mystery Box, click the affiliate link in the description box. It'll take you directly to there. I definitely recommend it. I think there's some amazing designs in this set. And if you guys want to see any project made with something specific in this set, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see created next. And I'm so excited to play around with this. I can't wait to share more projects with you. I hope you're having a wonderful day.